An international math Olympiad question from 60 years ago. How easy can it be from today's perspective? So first of all, we want to find the range of the real value x that satisfies this inequality. And first thing I noticed is that square root. Okay, so inside square root cannot be negative. So first thing, 2x plus 1, non-negative. x bigger than half, negative half. Okay. Second of all, denominator cannot be 0. All right, so square root of 2x plus 1 cannot equal to 1. In other words, x cannot equal to 0. Then I notice that the left hand side is non negative, so right hand side bigger than that, so right hand side also strictly positive, so x strictly bigger than negative 9 over 2. And since we want to simplify everything, so perhaps I should make substitution to square root of 2x plus 1 equal to t. And so therefore 2x plus 1 is equal to t squared. And x is immediately half of t squared minus 1. And so 4x squared. 4x squared. So 2 becomes 4. 4 cancel with this 4. So immediately, t squared minus 1, quantity squared. All right. So left-hand side becomes t squared minus 1 squared over 1 minus t, quantity squared, less than 2x plus 9. 2x is t squared minus 1 plus 9 plus 8. Now, this time we say, okay, the bottom is positive, so multiply this over, right? maintain the direction. So t squared minus 1 quantity squared less than 1 minus t quantity squared times t squared plus 8. All right. So it looks like we can have a common factor which is 1 minus t quantity squared. If I rewrite this into, into t minus 1 times t plus 1, then this inside, this quantity is squared. So distribute the square onto this and that. Square, square. And move this uh, to the left-hand side minus 1 minus t quantity squared times t squared plus a less than 0. <clears throat> so like I said, this time common, common factor 1 minus, okay, rewrite it as t minus 1. Right, same thing, right, because they're square. So t t minus 1 quantity squared common factor and t plus 1 squared minus t squared plus 8 minus t squared minus 8 this time so less than 0 t minus 1 quantity squared t squared minus t squared gone 2t so here I have 2t plus 1, minus 8, so minus 7. Right, after I expand and simplify everything. And so to make the whole thing negative, knowing that this part is uh, positive. So cannot equal to 0, first of all, because it's strictly negative. Right? So t, can, t cannot equal to 1. t cannot equal to 1. So this cannot equal to 1. Right. Like I said previously, I already know this cannot equal to 1. So this is fine. 
So which means this part must be strictly negative. <coughs> which means T must be strictly less than 7 over 2. Okay, so substitute back. T is two, square root of 2x plus 1 less than that. So 2x plus 1 less than 49 over 4. And 2x less than 45 over 4. And so x less than 45 over 8. Right. So combined with right. Combined with this part, this part, this part. Right. So which we see which one is <coughs> zero, negative half, negative half, somewhere here. And negative nine over two, negative four point five, somewhere somewhere here. And to make sure x is bigger than this, also bigger than that, okay, I'm, I'm gonna choose this one. Because this one already implies bigger than that one. So I, I don't need that. And also, x cannot equal to 0. Right, bigger, bigger than equal to this cannot equal to 0. And also, less than that. Right, so, can, so overall, x is less than 45 or a bigger than or equal to negative half and not equal to zero. <coughs>